service here with you, um, uh, Lead Titan and Go High Level. And today I want to show you a really cool tool that we use um, in our company that um, my sub accounts have access to. So um, in this video, it's uh, I'm going to show you how we use this project manager. And it really is just an easy way for us to keep track of all of the different projects that are happening um, inside of our different organizations. So this one happens to be for one of my cleaning locations in Rochester, New York. And Wendy is my office manager. And so what, what this is, is I've created like a Kanban um, uh, project manager and it allows her and I to be able to put task up here and um, see which ones are new, which items are in progress, what are in for my review, and then um, obviously anything that's done. What I like about this is that when I um, put a note in here, uh, like a comment, then what happens is Wendy's actually going to get an email notification to let her know that there's a task in here. And I also like that you can do this um, subtask. So I have a bunch of subtasks on Friday, uh, tasks that are due on Friday for her. So like, here's the first one. It's going to be, I'm going to add a subtask and it's going to be weekly um, scorecard comments sent to Jim. So Jim is my other um, VA and he takes all of the scorecards and turns them into social media posts and YouTube shorts. And if I wanted to create a template, I could. Um, so that's really cool. So you can create from template. There's obviously not one created here. I can give her more details down here, but I can assign it to her. I can add any files. I can say that, you know, every Friday this is due. I can tell her what time to start. I can schedule it for every week. Oops, I'm going to do weekly. And then the day is going to be Friday. And then the time is just going to be like, let's say it's over there by 1 p.m. every day. Um, we can add tags, and this tag could be like um, you know, scorecards or something like that, so that when she needs to go and search this, she can see what she's looking for. Um, contacts is like, do we want to um, add a contact to this so that our contact will be aware of what's happening with their account? Um, so again, a definitely a different way to use this is say like, um, you have an account, a client that you're doing um, onboarding for some type of marketing. So you can actually tag them in this. And then every time the project gets an update, they're going to be notified that the project is getting updated and it will eliminate that time that is spent back and forth, like answering phone calls and emails and text messages. So it's a really nice way for them to get a notification. Um, and then you can create columns in here. So you can create a new task and, and change, you know, change the color of these columns and everything so that, um, so it can be in here. So this new task, we're just going to say it's new. It hasn't been changed yet. And then we're going to save it um, and then submit it. So now she's going to see, I'm sorry, I'm not going to add this, but now she's going to see that this task has been um, created. And then if I want to add any um, files here, we can add the files. It's just going to pull from your information here. So let's say I want to I want to add that file here. Well, it looks like it didn't pull up. Maybe let's just do a, a sales store. Here's the two files that I added for this particular task. If I wanted her ha to have these, I'm actually going to delete them so I don't confuse her. Um, but what I do want to show her is the actual file that I want her to add here. So I'm just going to pause this video and go up like that. And so you guys can see it. Okay. So what I did is I went and grabbed my scorecard results, um, that are in a CSV file and she can see what this looks like here. And then I'm going to hit the submit button. Oh, I've added the comment here. So she's now going to get an email from me that that is, um, there. And um, yeah, so that's it. It's going to show up over here. And then when she wants to make progress or move it around, she'll, she'll move these over and let me know that I need to go in and review this.